morning. That means it's time to head to work with another Western New Yorker. And since yesterday was National Ice Cream Day, we're learning how one very sweet couple in Williamsville comes up with all of their creative flavor combinations. All right, gonna add the chocolate. Making ice cream in the middle of July, does it get any sweeter? Uh, it's always a good time to be an ice cream shop. You know, it's kind of a sweet gig. Howard Cadmus loves this time of year at his shop in Williamsville, Sweet Jenny's. We're always busy, which is a good problem to have, because uh, it's not just ice cream, it's chocolate, but definitely the summer. And I think because we were trapped inside so much in Western New York, because it was a really cold winter, and even though it's been a little rainy, I think when we have a good day, we just flock to places like this. His ice cream machine is working overtime lately, churning out hundreds of gallons every couple days. Sure, you'll find the classics like chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry on the Sweet Jenny's menu, but what they're really known for is experimenting with their flavor combinations. Some people are purists. They like the sweet cream and the vanilla, but I think people flock to the strange ones. We have a Smurf, which is a blue raspberry and marshmallow that's very popular as well. The most popular flavor of the summer so far is salted caramel truffle. It's delicious, it's um, light, it's, I don't count the calories. <laughs> it's really, just hits me right. There's never any one thing, you know, we're, we're, we're a town that loves variety, you know, 716 but um, salted caramel truffle is what I said. When he's not inventing new ice cream flavors, Howard is an attorney who also has his own law practice. But about five years ago, he and his wife Tara decided to get into the ice cream business too. They met family because when we first took over, we didn't want to see Jenny's clothes. It's been around 30 years now. Uh, families come after a graduation. They come when it's dad's birthday. They come after they've you know visited grandma. So it's been important to keep that and to be a part of the community, but now, I, we're also expecting, so now it's become family in a whole different kind of light, like our family and then bringing up our, our, our son in the same kind of traditions. Whether it's salted caramel truffle or just plain vanilla, ice cream is one of those traditions that, at least for this family, is sure to last. It's important, you know, there's a couple of things in life you need, um, love and uh, ice cream. Right, what do you say? Looks Perfect. Like summer to me. Summer. <laughs> it looks so good. So how was the ice cream? Well, I ate pretty much the whole thing, <laughs> and I want to thank editor Dan Holland for not including those clips in the story. But such a fun place to hang out, whether you're in front of the counter or behind the counter like we were that day. Howard and Tara, they both had different jobs mm -hmm. when they decided to, you know, get into the ice cream business and buy Sweet Jenny's, and they say, if you love what you do you never work a day in your life and they are really passionate about everything they make they're not just the ice cream and you mentioned cadmus was or is rather an attorney mm -hmm. he's an attorney so he still does that on the side too but i mean that his passion lies in sweet jenny's and and in his customers and like he said people if you think about all the reasons that you go to an ice cream parlor it's usually to be celebrating something so no true. wonder they feel the love right back oh i love well, great job, Lauren. Thanks. Thank We're going to have to go for, for some later. <laughs> I'm for it. We'll still 